Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Amen. Jesus. Amen. Let's just stand on our feet, pray, even as we begin this service. Father, we thank you for you alone are highly exalted above all else. And we come this evening to worship you, to seek your face. As we draw near, God, we ask that you may draw our hearts close. For we can only come by the faith you provide. We can only come to you by the means that you provide. And so we ask that our hearts will look to Jesus, that our gaze will be fixed on Christ, the author and the perfecter of our faith. Oh God, that our prayers will rise up as a sweet incense to you. Accept the lifting up of our hands and the meditation of our heart, for you are the one we trust in. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Let's just go ahead and lift him on high. He's a faithful God. We want to welcome those of you that are tuning in, that we may worship together in his presence as he draws us to himself. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who 
to you God for who you are for all that you have done we will lift up your name in praise we lift up your name in worship we acknowledge that you are Lord we acknowledge that you are King you are highly lifted up receive our praise receive our worship this evening for you alone are God and you are highly exalted, high above all else. May your praise continue to abound in the mouth of your children. For you alone are great and awesome, and there is none like you. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen, amen, amen. Let's just give him praise. He deserves it. We thank God for giving us another opportunity to come into his house, which he declared that my house shall be called the house of prayer for all nations. And I believe tonight God is going to hear our prayers as we pray, and He is going to answer our prayers. Let us read the scripture before we continue in prayer. The book of, as we continue studying, the book of Hosea chapter 1, chapter 4, verse 1 to 3. Hear the word of the Lord, you Israelites. Because the Lord has a charge to bring against you who live in the land, there is no faithfulness. No love, no acknowledgement of God in the land. There is only cursing, lying, and murder, stealing, and adultery. They break all bounds, and bloodshed follows bloodshed. Because of this, the land dries up, and all who live in it waste away. The beasts of the field the birds in the air and the fish in the sea are swept away. 
Precious Heavenly Father, we thank you again. For a moment like this you have given unto us to come and pray, to come and stand in a gap concerning our families, concerning the nation of Kenya. Thank you, God, because you care that as we come to pray tonight, we do believe that you will hear our prayers. Should there be anything in between us and you that may make our prayers not reach heaven, we pray that you may remove it. Forgive us where we have sinned against you so that we be, our prayers can be acceptable before you. We bless you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's take our seats. Tonight, I feel strongly that we need to pray for our nation. And this particular portion of the scripture is giving us the state of our nation. And it's declaring here the word of the Lord. You Kenyans, because we are Kenyans. Because the Lord has a charge to bring against you who live in the land. There is no faithfulness in the land. People are no longer keeping their words. They don't keep what they have promised to do. There is no love. People are not loving one another, and that's why you see so many things happening. There are killings going all over. There is no acknowledgement of God in the land. In other words, there is no fear of God. Hence the killings that are going on in the families. When people disagree, they kill one another. And you hear it every day on the papers. There is no acknowledgement of God in the land. When somebody is killing another person, that man or that person is not fearing God. He's just saying, come what may, and he killed the person. There is no only cursing, lying, and murders. These are the things that are happening in our nation. Stealing and adultery, that is corruption and immorality. And then he's saying here, and bloodshed follows bloodshed. Before we even hear, uh, we, we even rest from one case of our family being wiped away by their loved ones, another one comes. Bloodshed after bloodshed. And that defiles the lad. The lad is defiled. And we are told here, because of this, because of what is happening, the lad dries up. There is wasting away. All who live in the lad have wasted away. There is a lot of wasting. The young men, and I go for them. I have a burden for the young in our nation. Because you go to many places, many shopping centers, and they are there idle, doing nothing. We need to pray that these people are going to be engaged in some areas or projects. They are not just going to be sitting around, wasting away, wasting, being wasted away. Many of them have gone into drugs and alcohol taking. And men and women have also become a drug, a drug addicts, alcoholists. It is very sad. It is very sad. We are told the beasts of the field, the birds in the sky, and the fish in the sea have been swept away. Nature itself has suffered because of what people have done. What people have done, things that are, are God, uh, they are not fearing God, so they are doing things that God look at them and wonder, is this the people I created? If we look at the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 22, let me just read verse 29. The people of the land practice exhaustion and commit robbery. The same thing being repeated here. They oppress the poor and the needy 
and mistreat the foreigners, denying them justice. I looked for a man or for someone among men, among them, who would build up the wall and stand before me in the gap on behalf of the Lord, so I would not have to destroy it, but I found no one. He is looking for someone from among them, from among the people he has called. You look at it and find that many a times we pray for many things. We pray for prosperity. We pray that the economy will be built up. We pray for many things. But God is looking for a man, for someone from among us who will stand before me in the gap on behalf of the Lord so I will not have to destroy it. And he's saying, I found no one. So the judgment comes. So I will pour out my wrath on them and consume them with my fiery anger, bringing down on their own hands all they have done, declared the Lord. We need to start in the gap. That's why I found out tonight, I want us to pray for our nation. I want us to pray for a number of things. Because if we don't do that, there is going to be judgment in our land. And when judgment comes, both Christians and non-Christians will suffer. Everyone will suffer. And I want to give you a few prayer points so that we can pray effectively tonight. One, Second Timothy 2, verse 2. Pray for the kings and those in authority. We pray for those who are leading this nation to rule in justice and righteousness, to seek godly counsel. They will seek counsel from God or from the men of God. The men of God are the ones who pray, and they pray that God gives them instructions. We need our leaders to seek counsel from godly men or from the men of God. That is one prayer point I want us to take. The next prayer point is found in the book of Psalms 68, verse 30. God will scatter those who delight in war. There are people who delight in war in our nation. When you hear that they have attacked a place in Pokot, and then later on we hear this thing has started from some leader, political leaders. Those are the people who sit down together and they plan how they are going to attack other people. We want to pray that God is going to scatter them. That is what the Bible says in Psalm 68, verse 30. God will scatter those who delight in war. Wherever they meet to plan, they will be discovered and scattered, and their plans will not come to pass. The next prayer point I want to pray is from the book of Isaiah 66. Or 60 verse 18, the Bible says, No longer will violence be hard in your land. Our youth will be engaged in projects that are profitable, not to be employed to scatter and to, to cause violence when there is a meeting. We are going to pray for our youth that there is no longer going to be violence in our land. The, the other prayer point is Psalms 46 verse 19. The Bible says, he makes war to cease to the ends of the earth. Many a times we get attacked from outside the borders, uh, are, are sometimes attacked. You hear some people have come across and have attacked people in our border area. We are going to pray that he will make war to cease to the ends of the earth. And as we continue to pray, will cry to God and say like Habakkuk that in wrath, remember mercy. He's a merciful God and he will remember us because we are his people and we have taken time to pray. When he says that he found none from among us, from among them, tonight God will say, 
I have found people who will stand in the gap that may no, I may not destroy the nation of Kenya. Our nation will be saved. Let us stand and go into prayer and pray for our nation. Let's stand and pray.
Oh, Father in heaven, we thank you for this evening that God, you have heard our prayers as we have committed our nation into your hands, O oh God. We have prayed for our leaders, O oh Father Lord. And God, we have prayed that you may give them wisdom. You may give him them direction. You may give them the spirit of love the spirit of understanding that they will lead us in justice and righteousness, that they will seek counsel from above, they will seek counsel from you, that, Lord, you will advise them and direct them in the right way, O Father, to guide and to lead us. We thank you, Lord, that you have prayed for the young men in this nation. We pray for them, for them O God, that, Lord, you will help them, O oh Father, Lord, to be engaged in projects, O oh Father, that are profit-making, O oh God, and that they are not going to be in drugs and alcohol and such like things. That, Lord, you love them and you care about them, O oh Father. How we pray that the government shall be able to get projects that can involve these young men so that they may also be busy. We thank you, my God and my Lord, because we know that you will scatter those who delight in war. People who sit down to plan evil, you will scatter them, O oh God, because you love our nation, and violence will no longer be hand in our land. Oh yes, because you are the ones who makes the war to cease to the ends of the earth. Father, we pray in wrath. Remember mercy, Lord, that we know that your mercies are great, O oh Father. They are new every morning. They are from one generation unto another. And in our generation, my Father, we pray, Father, Lord God, that you have mercy upon us. Deliver us, O oh God. We come again in the spirit of bloodshed that goes on in our nation, the killing that go on in our nation, to defile our Lord, O oh God. Forgive us as a people. Forgive us as a nation. Heal our lands, O oh God. Heal our Lord, O oh God. Lord, we thank you because you are a God who hears prayers. When we confess our sins, O oh Father, you send your just to forgive and to cleanse us from all unrighteous, unrighteousness, that, Lord, you may forgive us so that this Lord can be healed. Lord, we thank you because we know that you love us. That's why you have not judged us, O oh God. You have said, O oh Father, that should you find somebody to study the gap, then you will save our nation. And we are here standing in the gap concerning our nation that you may heal it, O oh God. As you forgive us, O oh God, thank you for your care. Thank you for your love, even for families, O oh God. We stand in the gap concerning families in this nation and especially those who are represented in this church that you continue to move in families, O oh God. Bring restoration, O oh Father. Bring healing in families. Bring love and unity. Lord God of glory, that we shall be able to live according to your will and purpose in this nation. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for every member of this church, that, Lord, you'll continue to minister unto them wherever they are, O oh God. Those who are in their homes, O oh Father, and they are praying together with us. Those are in various other places, O oh Father. 
hear the prayers of your people and minister unto them, O God. Those who are needy, O God, provide, O Father Lord, according to your riches in glory. In Christ Jesus, O Lord, those who are sick, O Father Lord, touch their bodies, O Father. Those who have lost their loved one, O Master, comfort them, O God. Give them the peace that come from above because you are our, our, our peace giver and you'll give them peace and assurance, O God, that you are still on the throne, that everything is under your control. Lord, we thank you and we bless you as we come, O Father Lord, even to the end of our prayer meeting. We pray for a blessing upon each one of us who is here tonight, that as we go in our various places, you will minister unto us. You will protect us, O God. You will give us journey mercies. You will be with us all through. The Lord God of glory, when we arrive to our homes, O Father, we shall be careful to give you glory, to give you the honor, because you love us and you care about us. We thank you, Lord, and we bless you. For you have heard our prayers, for we have prayed, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Let's appreciate the Lord this evening as we study together so that we can share the grace. And now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. Go in peace.